we're starting the HLN Mark Transformation McDonald Challenge. Transformation Challenge. Thank you. Yeah. And I'm already negotiating. We haven't even started yet. I want my coffee. I want my sugar still and this and that. Did you negotiate? Well, you my, still want my the, thing uh, is alcohol. Vodka? I don't care yeah. about coffee. I don't care about sugar. I care about alcohol, and which is sugar. But, you know, I need to have, be able to have, to have a drink when I want one. And so that's the most important thing to me. But everybody has their thing. Some people are into sweets. Some people are into chocolate, you know. And she likes her vodka. Is that still your favorite drink? Yeah. It's the least caloric, so I just have vodka with a squeeze of lemon. Yeah, and it's distilled, too, so it's clean. So it's not like a whiskey where it's got a little, little grind in it. He made it easier for me to figure out a way. You know, I need very specific instructions. Like, I would weigh my food for the first two weeks mm. so that I knew how much four ounces of protein were and how much four ounces of, you know, broccoli were and, and how much, you know, to have a, a, a tablespoon of salad dressing instead of what you think is a healthy amount of salad dressing, which is a huge fallacy. Everybody thinks, oh, if I'm having salad, I can have a little dressing. It's like the dressing's the worst part of the salad. That's what gives you cellulite for women, you know, all that fat and stuff. So I, I'm much more conscious about it now, but it's an easy habit to get into. You know, it's easy to kind of become more diligent about it. And, and she would skip meals. So like when Chelsea skips meals and anyone skips meals, it makes you store body fat. So it's cool is like when your office, like in a fridge, she has her little turkey, her nuts and her fruit, and she eats more than just turkey as well. But the whole thing... <laughs> Sometimes I'm really sick of turkey. <laughs> but the whole thing is, and once you do drink, you cut out your starchy carbohydrates. So she's found a way to make it work into her, and that's what's so inspiring, is that just making it help. Just like you, Mike, as you're now looking at dropping that 30 pounds and moving to that next phase. You're going to drop you, another no, 30 No, not another 30. I'm yeah. just, he he's says another 10 to 15. The next level. About, he's got to drop about 15 pounds. Let me see. I'm 15. <laughs> then he's going to be too skinny. No, no, he's going to be tight. Ugh. No, it, it, maybe, maybe next 10 Next level, pounds. right? Yeah, about, uh, probably about 5 to 8% body fat to take it to that next level. He wants everybody to be at 5 to 8% body fat. Well, men anyway, but uh, that's not going to work. But you're a disciple of his. I mean, although we're negotiating a little bit. I don't know about you disciple. Not, well, are you or not? Yeah, but eating in threes or eating every three to four hours. Yeah, I definitely eat. I mean, I definitely eat every three to four hours because that's true. I can always tell my metabolism is working harder when I get when you get hungry. That means things are working. And to eat, feed yourself a little bit rather than overeat, which most people do, and you know, most people don't realize that they're overeating. The energy level that you create for the day is so much better, and you feel so much better. Everybody knows what it feels like to overeat and be tired, and then your blood sugar spikes. And so he taught me all about my blood sugar and all about feeding yourself constantly. I mean, I know. I I have, total, I have so many friends in my life who don't eat until two or three yes. in the afternoon and they wonder why their body's not tight or toned and it's like that's why because you know you're storing fat I didn't know that I didn't know a lot of stuff when I met him and, and Chelsea looks leaner to me now than when she was 27 so she's leaner she's nice tired job. she has more education nice and job. she lives it and that's what I think people you know that's what I want everyone to know about her is that as she does and we talk about this I sorry I hit you again there oh. <laughs> but the whole thing is that that people when they're busy when they skip meals they think they can manage their weight but as you move into your late 20s your 30s and your 40s your body starts to hold so you have to implement these right philosophies to actually ignite your metabolism and reduce that cellulite Candy, you know, eating whatever you want, eating right before, you know, you go to bed, but nothing, it's not something that's not healthy. And that's another thing that he, you know, taught me to eat within an hour of waking up and within an hour of going to bed, which is always a nice treat to know, oh, I have to eat again before I sleep. I have to have it a is, couple bites. Right. Yeah, it's good to keep your metabolism going throughout the night. I like that. So one. whenever I'm on program, I feel really, really good. The guns. <laughs> if you want yeah. that, dive yeah. into the challenge. Dive in. One more thing too. I love that she she went when when I heard you guys earlier. You read the paper. She's on her treadmill, and she's in her sauna. So it's so cool that Chelsea finds a way to make it work into your life, and that's the biggest thing. And Mike, as you take on to the next level, as you drop the thirty pounds, oh. and you already dropped that. It's about finding a way to make your health work on your day to day, and learning what adjustments to make. Yeah. And then once you start to see results, then you really get into it because then you want your body, you're like, I'm going to get this line in the back of my arm mm. and I'm going to get this and that. And then you really get into yeah. it and it's great. And it's so easy if you fall off a little to get right back on. So if you stay the course for like, you know, a minimum of four to six weeks, it's just, it feels really good. You can always have a cheat meal here and there, you know, but for the most part, it's good to stay focused.